What's going on gangsters? My name is Luis Cello and uh, welcome back to another video. Now if your name starts with any letter A through Z, ladies and gentlemen, you know who Sketch is. And if you don't, I'm about to remind you who he is. What's up brother? My cock in your ass brother. Ladies and gentlemen, Sketch, also known as Kylie Cox, you know, the streamer, the YouTuber, the motherfucker that announced a draft pick for the Texans. The 123rd pick of the NFL draft, the Houston Texans select. I did not have sexual relations with that man. He's partnered with Charlie a bunch of times. He's par he partnered with Kaisa Nan. So Sketch, also known as Kylie Cox, has recently got exposed, ladies and gentlemen. Now, a YouTuber by the name of Pocketbook, he pretty much just dropped an expose on uh on Sketch. You guys will see in a moment, like really how how far this could have been so i don't want to add any of like that bad negative energy out there you feel me so i'm not going to be showing any pictures but just know that sketch did get exposed ladies and gentlemen he did get exposed for uh you know like like sucking on some meat bro got a little bit hungry you know he used to like do cosplay as like wonder woman he would stick his cheeks out in the air bro literally just like like a like a only fans model but like sketch like th that's literally it bro after this video dropped bro the internet went fucking insane because they didn't know whether to believe was this real or was this fake you know like all all the evidence that everyone mostly had was that his glasses lined up you know that the glasses of the only fans model and the glasses of sketch they both had similar frames you know they both had like similar dents in their head similar like like face shape but yeah they figured out it was sketch he was also going by the name jamie mar like jamie mar and that was his like pseudonym that was his like alias you know that was his um i need a max win but you can only imagine sketch in the bedroom bro like I imagine him in the fucking bedroom up here like what's up brother oh what's up me brother but after the expose dropped literally the next day is when all of the rumors got confirmed because sketch himself ladies and gentlemen he came out and told his side of the story. He told everything that was going on, you know. Look at this. Open and honest. That was me. That was me. It's okay, though. I will tell you what. Okay. Two years ago, I did some stuff. I'm sorry if you've seen some of the stuff. You know, I'm a changed person. So two years ago, I did not have sexual relations with that man. The fact that he came out and took this shit right on the chin, bro, W sketch, you know, he he didn't try to be like, that was the, that's not me. Yeah, that was me. Um, I fucked up. I won't do it again. I'm just kidding. Um, well, I am dead serious <laughs> about not doing it again. That was a dark time. Rough, rough time. Hey, love my brother Jixi. Not like that, though. But on a real note... I've been living under the threat of that coming out for like two years. Started social media, just kind of dicking around. Had that in my past. I'll tell you what, weight lifted off my shoulders. God is good. God is good. All the time. But yeah, after he dropped this video, you know, the internet was fucking going crazy. And actually, Fakes Banks, he had to make a tweet because so much people were hating on Sketch. Like, I don't know why the internet just instantly turned on Sketch, you know. It's not like he was doing something crazy. It's not like he was, you know, like a or something bro he was just he was you know he was making some you know he's making some gay porn you know? yeah it's embarrassing if he didn't want anyone to find out but i mean it's out there you know what i mean he did it consensually he did it you know like by his own will you feel me a little bit after that video dropped face banks actually came out and he made a tweet himself about the situation now everything needs to be broadcasted and farmed but since y'all want to jump to crazy ass assumptions sketch told me to post these receipts all the FaZe boys were with him last night. Sketch was my homie yesterday, he's my homie today, and will, hom and will be my homie tomorrow. You guys are fucking weirdos. Now the first um like receipt, I guess, is like a, a text message between him and Sketch, and it goes, You awake? I'm sorry, bro, I didn't mean to involve y'all. Bro, what do you mean? You're our boy, you didn't have to dip. You didn't involve us in anything, bro, you good. I'm over by the airport, I didn't know what to do, I'm so sorry. Come back, you're good, dude. The boys pulled up on me and woke me up. They wanted to make sure you were good. You're good, bro. Come back. We're all here for you. You're the homie. I'll come now. I just need someone to talk to. We all posted. Come back. You need me to call you a car on the way. And for a little bit more context, here's a picture of Sketch leaving um, of Banks' house at 11, 18, 26. And this is what Sketch left behind, I guess. So he left his glasses and he left his shoes. And from what people say, this is like, a, first of all, bro, I want to say W Sketch. Like, the, like, you can imagine the amount of money he has from streaming, the amount of fucking deals he's gotten, bro. And look at his shoes. 
He got some raggedy ass, daggedy ass shoes, bro. Look, like, they're ripped and shit. Like, W sketch, bro. But yeah, he left all this stuff at the, uh, I guess, Face Bank's house or whatever house he was at, you know. And people were saying because he left, like, these valuable, uh, well, I guess not valuable items, but valuable to the moment, you know. He needs his glasses. He needs his shoes, you know. Like, in, in a random day, he, he probably wasn't thinking right. And he was going to try and do something irreversible. Now, in the apology video, he does say this. Yeah, that's about it, though. Like, my my original plan was there's two things. One, either be delusional and think it's never going to come out. Or two, what's the plan after? The plan after was not very good. If I was alone and I was at my house, I probably wouldn't be talking to you right now. The people at FaZe, banks especially, um, and my friends that I've made over the past couple years came in and they save me so it's some real shit bro like like this shit really did get serious you know like we could have lost sketch like possibly but honestly like at first i didn't really like the what's up brother because everyone was fucking doing it like bro it was like the new dab it, but after like watching a couple of his streams like he was actually pretty funny like he, he listens to good music you know he you know he, he 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 does a little bit of this you feel me so he's funny bro he's funny and like he's always just saying like random ass stuff so I'm happy like we didn't have to cover a different story, you feel me? His friend his friend Jinxie, you know, they've been streaming for a while together. Like I think they both kind of brought each other up in popularity, you know, like Jinxie was rising up, but once he found Sketch, Sketch started to rise up and then they started to rise up together because they would do like 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 collaboration streams. So you know, they were rocking together since the very beginning, bro, and this is what Jinxie had to say about the whole situation. Goes through shit, everybody has shit, and to me, bro, a friend is a friend no matter what. And it, it honestly doesn't matter if Sketch is, I, I don't even care, bro. It doesn't matter if Sketch is gay, straight, bisexual. At the end of the day, bro, he never hurt anybody with what he did. And very true. Just as a human being with a heart, um, people just need to stop pointing their fingers at everybody and acting like anybody's better than anybody because nobody is better than anybody. Like little things like this, bro, it might not um even seem like it but little things like this genuinely could save somebody's life like seriously so w banks seriously um <laughs> but yeah ladies and gentlemen sketch really didn't do anything bad bro you know he just got exposed for something that that you know he he knew eventually was gonna come out but I'm really, really happy it didn't lead to anything worse. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys have a great day and peace out. I remember rapping for Jane Cam. Young producer just trying to get his flows off. I remember being nervous to do the tour. Secret till I pictured everybody with their clothes off. Like cocking your ass, brother.